Welcome back to my channel, my name is Unwana Udo and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. Today we're talking about why you should never finance a car, and how cars keep you poor. All over the world, cars are a prized possession. People love cars and here are some reasons why cars are so highly regarded by many people in society. Cars are linked to memories and nostalgia and most of us remember the first time we drove a car or purchased our first car. Cars allowed us to get away from our parents and served as a medium of escape and freedom. Cars also serve as a form of transportation and moving us from point A to point B in order to earn an income. For example, you can't drive for Uber or Lyft without a car and therefore, your car can actually be a source of income for you. If you are in construction, having a pickup truck is vital to your business for hauling materials to a job site and tools. Having a car is vital if you're in a sales role whether you need to get to clients' offices, such as if you're a real estate agent. As a real estate agent, you obviously need to show up to showings and open houses in your car, and depending on the type of car you are driving, your clients will perceive you as successful. Pulling up in a Range Rover gives your clients the impression that you are a successful real estate agent. Another reason why people love their cars is that cars represent a form of status symbol. People who drive nicer cars are perceived as successful regardless of the fact that they could be up to their eyeballs in debt just trying to maintain that image. In a recent study, car manufacturers globally spent roughly $38 billion on advertising and marketing, of which $18 billion was spent just in the United States of America. Cars are money-making products for the car industry and as such, the car industry is willing to spend billions of dollars every year on acquiring customers. If you found value so far, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel to stay updated on my latest videos. Now, let's get into why you should never finance a car ever again. Most people cannot afford to pay cash for a car, so they have to borrow money. Borrowing comes with interest you are paying on a depreciating item such as a car that loses its value over time. You also have to maintain your car, therefore, you are borrowing money, paying interest to get a depreciating asset that you have to maintain over time. An average new car loses about 65% of its value in its first 5 years and the minute you drive off the car lot, they lose between 10-15% to of their value. As an example, if you purchased a $20,000 car, the minute you drive off it is now worth $18,000, you just lost $2,000, and this number is generally higher with luxury cars. Now, let's address the issue of maintenance. You're always going to have ongoing maintenance with your car such as replacing brake pads, tires, oil changes, wiper blades, and so on. By the way, let's not forget the insurance and car payments. As of the making of this video, the average car payment in the United States of America is $550 for 72 months. I don't know about you, $550 is a lot of money to me, and imagine paying that over 6 years. Since my channel is a financial channel, let us do the math. A little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor or a tax professional and any illustrations presented here are for entertainment purposes. Make sure to seek professional help before embarking on any investments. If you invested $550 for 72 months into an investment vehicle at a rate of 7%, which is the average rate of return of the total stock market, it will be worth $49,324 of which, $9,724 will be interest earned during this period. So, is it worth financing that car or is it worth you making almost $50,000 in about 6 years? I don't know about you but that's a lot of money, however, a better alternative is, pay for cars with cash and take the difference you would have had in a car payment and invest it. When you need a new car in about 6 years, sell the car that you currently own and pay cash for a brand new car. What if you invested $550 a month for the next 30 years at 7%? You will end up with $674,898 of which $476,898 is just interest you would have earned after 360 months. I hope this video was an eye-opener for you. This is why you should never finance a car. It pays to be disciplined, delay gratification and you will be in a much better financial position. If you found value in this video, make sure to share it with a friend, I really appreciate it. Make sure to check the description below for more resources on how to master your personal finance and grow your wealth. The next videos on the screen contain information you will love, click to watch them now.